Good morning everyone, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. So it's another beautiful Monday here in Bangkok and in today's vlog we're gonna explore some of the famous landmarks along Chaproya River because we're heading to one of the vibrant and active street markets located on Chaproya River. And also along this vlog I'm gonna talk about the weather and everything you should know if you are coming to Thailand soon and answer some of the questions that were on our Sunday's updating vlog. So it will be very interesting vlog, let's walk and talk. So now we are going to take the BTS Silom line to Sapan Taksin. If you want to go to Sapan Taksin, you have to take the Silom line. We came from Sukhumvit line, interchange in Siam, and now going to Sapan Taksin. So we are going to take a boat taxi from Saturn Pier to Plum Nok Pier, which is number 10. If you don't remember the name, it's Pier number 10 that goes to Wang Lang, the market that we are going to access today. But this is the same pier you can take to Econ Siam or Asia Tech. So after waiting 15 minutes, this is the boat that takes us to Wat Lang. It costs you 30 baht. So if you are going to Wat Lang, you have to pay, you have to buy tickets, which is 30 baht. But if you are going to Icon Siam or Asia Tech, it's for free. So that's also information along the way. Now I don't know how far Wat Lang is. Let's check and enjoy some beautiful views over Chapoya River. So as you hear, this spot stops into many pairs. The first stop will be at Icon Siam. But of course, if you are coming only to Icon Siam, you can take the free boat shuttle. Because this is not free, you are paying 30 baht. So we are going out at pier number 10. So this is what around the Temple of Dong, one of the famous landmarks located on Chaproya River. And from here, as I said, you can access to the opposite side to check Grand Palace, Wat Po, Wat Trakel. So as an idea, if you are exploring these places by this boat, you can go out, check and retake the boat and go to your next destination. So this is Pranok Pier and Ta Wang Lang, as I said, number 10, if you don't remember the name. Because I think I will forget it once I finish today's vlog, but it's called Pranok and this is Ta Wang Lang, number 10 Pier. Look at 
So once you reach the pier, you have to walk out directly to access this famous street food market which starts from Soy One, street number one. Wang Lang street number one. You can go inside or continue directly. It doesn't matter. All this way is about the street food. And we've bought a lottery along the way. Hopefully we win. Wish us good luck. So guys, now we are walking directly. We're not entering the branches of this market because it's so crowded. Although it's Monday, it's around now 2 p.m. And again, we're talking about the weather. It's super hot. I'm gonna stop somewhere, have some refreshment before we start exploring the food and the street food. So let's see what are the things are available in this market. There is a copy center inside one of the streets of this market. That's cool. Street food and a copy center. The guys working in this copy center are so lucky because they are going to enjoy and a barber shop. So it's not only about street food, it's about everything. As usual in Thailand, when you go to a market, you will find everything besides the food. So now we are inside one of the streets between the main street and the parallel street, which is next to this soy. Well, of course, motorbikes are everywhere. I don't have to repeat this information for you. Once you are in a market, even it's so narrow, you can barely walk, but motorbikes are everywhere. So the market is too long, lots of narrow streets, and it's divided between food and shopping. Along the way, I'm giving you an idea about what are the things that are available in this market, but today we are not here for shopping, we are here to enjoy some food but before that maybe to get a refreshment and to cool ourselves Well guys, that is avocado, honey and lemon. But it's not too much tasty. But at least it's cool and you can refresh yourself. This is one of the restaurants located along the way, so it's good air conditioned. We can enjoy some cool meal before we continue exploring the mall. So what we have ordered today, Gai Yang, which is the chicken, barbecue chicken, Tom Yam Kum, very famous soup with seafood, the corn salad, of course the famous papaya salad which is also known as som tam and without forgetting the rice. Well guys, two things about this restaurant. First of all, everything you order is so delicious. Second is so cheap. Everything you saw is only 300 Thai baht, which is less than $10. So it's so delicious and also so cheap. Now we are still inside the market and we're gonna check what will be our next destination. So let's walk.
So we are going to take now another boat, which is only three baht, to Tamaharat Pier, where you can access to Grand Palace. We're gonna check a little bit around and after that take the MRT underground train in Sanam Chai station and go back to Sukhumvit. Here we are back to the land, only three baht to cross from one side of the river to the other. So three baht and we are now around Grand Palace and let me show you a little bit around because there are some interesting shops here, they sell souvenirs. So this is one of the new places or stations that you can explore around Grand Palace and it's my first time we're gonna go down and see what is it about because lately I saw a post on Facebook about this place so I'm excited to check and see what are the things that you can see once you go down from this place. So you have here the plan of Grand Palace once you enter and from here you can access Grand Palace. This is new for me and it seems a very beautiful place where you can take some nice pictures. Let me show you a little bit around because it's also as I said my first time. pictures of the palace this is Maharaj Road near Grand Palace as you know we came to Maharaj Pier another old picture Napra Land Road and Grand Palace Wall and Tapra Palace Wall so from here you can access directly Grand Palace and also check everything you can explore this is the full map and those are the numbers here it's written in Thai let us check if we have somewhere written in English of course this is the plan in English and, and the explanation so we are here now as you can see and you can check this place once you are around Grand Palace This is one of the entrances of Grand Palace and there are some tourists, it's Monday and hopefully there will be lots of tourists once all the regulations are ended, the entry regulations of course. Well this is the end of today's vlog, as you saw lots of things to explore around Chapraya River, a touristic boat only for 30 baht, after that a beautiful street food market, everything is so cheap there. After that we took a boat, only three bed, cross the river and explore around Grand Palace. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog, thank you for watching, see you in another vlog, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.